Hello everyone, my name is Dan. You can find me online at IamDan.com. That's Dan with two N's, so I-A-M-D-A-N-N.com. And today I am going to show you how to manage a pretty much limitless number of email addresses, all with one email address. Pretty cool. Gmail makes it super easy to receive email from multiple email addresses as well as send email from those addresses all in one place and they also make it super easy to set up so that is what I'm going to show you how to do today uh, if you're anything like me you tend to collect email addresses I've gotten a lot better I used to be worse I used to have maybe 20 or 30 email addresses that I would manage separately and it was a pain since then I've cut down and then I started gathering them again once I started the habit of buying domain names because I would come up with a great idea, I would buy a domain, I would set up the website, and then, of course, I'd want an email address to go along with that website. And then I found out that Gmail can manage all of that super easy, so I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing, um, if you go to forwarding, you're going to want to set up some email addresses to forward to your main email address. Uh, right here, what you're looking at right now is cPanel. cPanel is great for managing your domains, but not all hosts use cPan cPanel. Um, but all hosts will allow you to forward domains in one way or another. So if you don't have cPanel and you don't know how to set up domain uh, or email forwarding, you can Google it, you can type in the name of your host and then email forwarding and you'll get directions on how to do it. It's usually really simple and I'll show you how to do it in cPanel so you can, so, so you can see how easy it actually is. As you can see right here, I've got a bunch of different email addresses and they're all forwarding to my main email address, which is dan at dan com. What I'm going to do is I set up a really uh, a different little Gmail uh, account just to show you how this all works. So I'm going to add a forwarder. What I'm going to do is create uh, an email address called forwarded. And I'm going to do that at IamDan.com, which is my blog. And then I'm going to send that to hello at Danberg.com, which is the special little account I set up for this video. Uh, yeah, you just do that. You press add forwarder. Right now you can see everything that is sent to forwarded at IamDan.com will now be copied or sent to hello at Dan-Berg.com. Easy as that. I have forwarding set up. That's all you need to do here. Now I'm going to go to Gmail. So this might look unfamiliar to you. That's because this is an empty Gmail account. I know, weird. You never really see an empty Gmail account, but this is what it looks like uh, in case you don't remember. So you're going to go to settings. Once you're here, settings again. In settings, you're going to go to account. Um, Oh, I forgot to mention, right here, what I'm using is Google Apps. Uh, it's basically Gmail, but for your own domain. It's a little bit more complicated to set up, but you can also do that. Uh, they have a personal account. It's free. It's really great. So if you're interested in that, definitely set it up. I definitely recommend it. But if you're using a regular Gmail account, all the instructions that I'm showing you are exactly the same. I think accounts is going to say accounts and forwarding or there's going to be something else there but it's going to be the same tab and there's going to be the same options so you go here i think yours will have a couple extra things but send mail as is just going to be right there and all you're going to do is click on add another email address that you own this will bring you to the page where you can enter in your name and email address the name right here is the name you want associated with that email address. So let's say this is an email address for your blog. You can put in the name of your blog there or any name that you want, pretty much. For email, type in the new, the other email address that you want. So the one that we set up was forwarded at imdan.com. See, it's automatically filling in. As far as treat as an alias, oh, you're actually going to want to keep this checked. 
you keep it checked if you own this email address. If you don't own the email address, like let's say you want to send email for your boss, um, then you can uncheck this and it gives you other features. But for now, keep it simple, keep it checked, go on to the next step. Here, yours will say send through Gmail. Mine says send through Dan Berg mail because I'm using Google Apps. Uh, but yeah, just keep that checked. It's a lot easier to set up than your own email servers and it works perfectly. So before you can send email as your new email address, you of course have to verify it. This prevents you from sending emails as anybody else. So just click send verification. There you go. Now you can go back to your Gmail inbox and if you set up forwarding correctly, you should have an email right here. Check that. You can click this link right here to confirm it or you can just copy this number, bring that on over here and verify. That's it. You're all set up. Right now, uh, your main email account will now receive email from the new one that you set up and you can also send email as that new account. So you can select and send it from any email account that you want. Great. Another thing that you can set up that is extremely helpful is a label for all of those emails that come in from the other account. That way they don't get confused and mixed together with any of your other accounts. The best way to do this is to create a filter for it. So you're going to go to the search thing, click on the little side to create a filter. You're going to type in the new email that you just set up. So forwarded at imdan.com. Great. So what you can do is search for that. You can see the email showed up right there. And then you can create a filter with this search. You're going to select that, apply a label, create a new label. You can call that forwarded and create. You also apply it to any emails that have come in uh, thus far. That way everything is all there and then create the filter. That's it. Simple as that. I'll go over here and change this color, maybe orange. That way, when you go in and you check your email account, if you've received an email to forwarded at imdan.com, it's going to show up orange and highlighted in there. And that way it doesn't get mixed up with any of your other email addresses. And you can do this for as many email accounts as you want. Go to accounts, follow the exact same thing, add another email address you own, and you can go to town. You can do as many email addresses that you want. And it's literally that simple. And yeah, that's it. If you like this, like it on uh, whatever site you're viewing it on or check out my blog. It's imdan.com. I write some cool stuff, or at least I think it's cool. Some people might not. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching.